their good old doggy style sure is one of the world's favorites. But I wonder how well do you actually know it? Do you play with all of its yummy variations? And are you exploring the full potential of this great sex position? In this video, I'll teach you everything you need to know about how to do the doggy style. And today we're discussing the best, most exciting and pleasurable ways to play with doggy. First of all, doggy style is a position that allows for a deeper penetration. This is wonderful news for any man whose penis size is on the smaller end of the spectrum. Yes, you can still give your woman deep enough penetration when you know what to do and what position to use. This is also great news for any woman with a longer vaginal canal who would like more depth during intercourse. On top of that, doggy style is a great position to stimulate the G-spot, so bear that in mind when positioning yourself as a male and as a woman. Most women find the G-spot stimulation extremely pleasurable, so making sure that the penis hits the G-spot in just the right way is a winner in itself. Having said all of that, ladies, it's really important that you voice any discomfort or pain that you experience during sex. When your man is taking you from behind in the doggy style, he's likely to be hitting your cervix. This can be painful at times, which means that you're not aroused enough, or that he's getting in too deep. So make sure to let him know how you're feeling instead of putting up with the pain. And gentlemen, as soon as you notice her rounding her back in this position, that is usually a sign that something is wrong. Her back should be nice and arched, drawing your cock in. But if you notice her back getting round, it's because her body is trying to protect the deeper parts of her vagina. This is a time to slow down, even stop, and communicate with her about what she needs in order to enjoy this position again. When it comes to the position itself, there are a few variations. And ladies, you don't need to choose one of these options. Instead, play with all of them in order to enjoy just variety, exploration, and playfulness to your doggy style. In its most basic form, the woman gets on all fours and arches her back, allowing the male an easy access to her vagina. But another way to do it is to bend your elbows and to lean down on your forearms, allowing your bum to stick up in the air even more. Thirdly, you can bend your upper body down even lower by laying your face on the bed, while your behind is up, available to your lover in all of its glory. Alternatively, the woman can also lie all the way down where she'll basically end up lying on her belly. In this variation, the man will need to enter her from behind first, and then they both will slowly lower down to the laying doggy position. This position allows for more closeness and is a bit more intimate than the regular doggy. This is because the traditional doggy style can still be disconnected to both partners. While in laying doggy, your faces are much closer and you can even look at each other and kiss. There is also a standing doggy variation where the woman stands in front of the bed, table, kitchen counter, etc. Then she leans her upper body down, leaning on the surface of the furniture in front of her. This allows the men to enter from behind and do the deed while they're both supporting themselves on the bed, kitchen counter, etc. That one is definitely a lot of fun. Now, when it comes to his fasting, there are a few options to play with in the doggy style as well. And again, don't just open one way to the doggy, but instead play with these different variations to keep things more interesting and fun. Gentlemen, remember that you'll be able to get in quite deep in this position, so make sure to keep that in mind. Slamming your cock all the way in rhythmically can be definitely fun, but shouldn't be the only thing that you do. So play with shallow thrusting, dipping only a third of your penis in her vagina and then go a bit deeper, and then deeper still. You can even use a fun Taoist technique of performing a number of shallow thrusts before each deep thrust. For example, nine shallow thrusts followed by one deep one, or three shallow thrusts for each deep one, etc. The same goes for the speed of your thrusting. Slow, gentle, sensual thrusts can be really pleasurable here. They will make her appreciate more the fast and energetic ones that will come later. And, from time to time, you might even want to stop completely while your cock is deep inside of her. It can be such a wonderful thing to just stop and feel all the pleasure and arousal without the constant distraction of the movement and friction. And after it pause, you can go back to moving again. While going in and out, make sure to also experiment with rolling and moving your pelvis in different ways. I find that tilting your pelvis upwards on the way in can be a particularly delicious thing to do during doggy. But moving your hips in circles from side to side and allowing your cock to enter her from different angles can also be a lot of fun. You can also move without friction. 
in order to do that, get deep inside of her first and then move and roll your hips to create internal movement and stimulation for both of you. A bit more subtle, but equally enjoyable. Lastly, you can allow her to move. In this variation, you become still and you allow her to move, roll her hips, and generally dance on your cock any way that she pleases. Additional ideas to play with include pulling her hair, smacking her ass, switching her around to stimulate her clit, playing with her buckle, grabbing her boobs, whispering naughty things into her ear, placing a large mirror near the bed so you can see each other, etc. And, as always is the case with any sexual activity, both participating partners need to be consenting adults. So if any of these activities don't feel good for either of you, discuss and make necessary changes. With many of his ideas, it can be a good practice to ask her first whether she's okay with you smacking her ass, pulling her hair, etc. If she's not sure, try the activity gently so that she can recognize and communicate whether she'd like to engage in it in the future. If either person says no to anything, that should always be respected. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a big like and a comment below. What's your attitude to doggy style? Do you like it? Do you engage in it? And how often? And make sure to subscribe to my channel to get access to all of my juicy, spicy, orgasmic tips, tools, and practices. Thank you so much for watching and for chatting with me down in the comment section. I always respond personally and I can't wait to see what you have to say. Thank you again and see you next time.